Hey, uh, just kind of talk me through your journey, uh, I guess, high school, junior, senior year to freshman year of not being able to play. And uh, yeah, that fly's been around here for like a. It's <laughs> crazy, man. It's been, it's been here the whole time. Uh, I'm glad to see it made its way to the podium now. Um, but talking about your, your going through that, your, your high school, junior, senior year, even in your freshman year of not being able to play and then kind of sticking it out to make it to this point. Yeah, um, I mean, not, not many people know my story yet. Um, and, I mean, it's, uh, I don't know, many people like me that, you know, can say that they walked on um, at a Division two school and then made it up and up, ended up being here. Um, so it's just a blessing to be here. Um, but, yeah, not being able to play my junior and senior years of high school is really tough because, I mean, that's when you get recruited to go to college. Um, so being able to, you know, make it through that and just keep persevering, I, I mean, I feel like I can do anything. I mean, were, who was kind of looking at you maybe like sophomore year or like sophomore summer? Like, was anybody looking at you then or was Man. it still? I mean, I was, I was like a six-foot little guard. Um, so, I mean, I – Really had no no interest, no offers, no nothing. Like I may maybe like my you know high school coach was gonna start you know reaching out to co like college coaches and stuff like that. But like no one was coming to see me play, no nothing. So um, yeah, just to to be here is a blessing. Like um, coming from you know where I've been, what I've been through through injury, um, it's just a blessing to be here. Going, I mean, even after your your freshman, like when you were walking on, did you even? Was this still part of your dream of like of making it here? Or was it like all right, let me just play a basketball game yeah, first? Yeah, I mean. When I'm first coming back from injury, like all you really, you know, thinking about is, you know, getting through that day. Um, you know, you try, you know, think long term, but take it one step at a time. Um, and that's just kind of what I've done is just take it one step at a time, just try and get better every day. Um, obviously, like as a kid growing up, like my dream was to play in the NBA, um, and just to be here is it's a crazy feeling. Um, but like going through college and stuff like that, like I just try to take it one step at a time. Um, and just continue to get better every day. Yeah, and like you kind of mentioned, it would have been very easy for somebody with your circumstances to kind of slip through the cracks. So I guess what kind of kept you motivated during those times and allowed you to get to this point? Um, I would say just my like support system, my, my family, my mom, my dad, um, just every, everyone that kind of, you know, stuck by my side and kept believing in me. Like I think a lot of people, like, um, you know, who don't really know me, like they would have just counted me out, like, oh, he had – he had two ACLs, like he's done, like he's not gonna do nothing no more. Um, but I think for me, like just having my support system that believed in me um, and just kept pushing, kept trying to get better every day. Um, and I'm here now, it's a crazy feeling, man. Have you had your welcome to the NBA moment? You know, you, you walk in and you see Zion or Brandon Ingram or what's that sort of like for you? When, when um, I mean, it's cool, like it's, it's awesome to be here. But I think my, my welcome to the NBA moment is probably still coming. Um, and I think, uh, you know, I want to have a long career. Um, and hopefully I, I can play in this league for a long time. Thank you. Appreciate it.